patient is at the core of the healthcare system that's very important here the health services are tailored to the to meet the individual needs values socio economic status of patients and circumstances of patients the goal is of the the goal of the patient centric healthcare is to ensure patients are actively involved in the healthcare treatment decisions leading to better outcomes very important this would be the most efficient healthcare system i would have thought how do we do this why patient centric improve uh, the patient satisfaction and experience that's a different experience better health healthcare outcomes reduced medical errors very important enhanced adherence to treatment plans when you have once you have taken a decision for a particular treatment then you cannot change if you have to change you go back to the patient and the kitchen kins and to the doctors then only change your treatment plan you have a medical board obviously in some hospitals per se but uh, that doesn't that should be included the patient and their relations and uh, close friends also must be included increased patient engagement and empowerment very important this will strengthen the patient doctor relationship and uh, you can see here the patient is in the center of the healthcare system center of the circle center of the arena most important person the doctor nurse kitchen kins and paramedical staff all of this revolve around them if all of us can think in that direction the goal is achieved doctor comes first his role is that of a role model he must present himself he must communicate very well to the patient so also every member of the core team care team we all have to play a equal role an important role the key principles of uh, patient centric care empathy empathy it means simply just um, a word extreme compassion to the patient they come with pain agony and uh, other problems shared decision taking makes life easier and culturally competent we live in a diverse uh, cultural society whether it is in kerala any part of india personalized treatment plans very important what is empathy yeah as i said extreme compassion to the patient encourage health care professionals mostly the clinicians listen to them attentively looking at their eyes understand the patient concerns and needs empathy fosters a strong patient provider relationship shared decision making explain the importance once you have taken a decision sir i didn't know this earlier i wouldn't have agreed you are operating for a uh, metabolic surgery in obesity that is curing diabetes uh, i i know it. most of you know it actually diabetes can be cured by operation in obese patients 90% of the obese are diabetics are the diabetics 90% are obese so if you 
correct obesity, you can cure diabetes. And uh, from lower BMI, you can do this. Metabolic surgery, you reverse the stomach is made into a small stomach, then bypass 150 to 200 centimeters of the upper small bowel. This is a medical information for you. That will cure diabetes, provided the C-peptide stays above 2.5 units. And 100% you can achieve cure. So you must explain to them, suppose um, it doesn't cure, it is not uh, cured or immediately, then you must be able to explain to him the reasons. So he'll ask you the question at the end. So you said, yeah, my diabetes will go. We just wait for three months, it will go. So you have to see what sort of diet he's taking. This is very important. Explain the importance of involving patients. This is very important today with advancing technology. And uh, you know laparoscopic surgery is now included in the uh, RAC. So this is a risk analysis area. RCA, risk analysis. Anyway, like uh, you, you practice in uh, uh, the radiation department, etc. What is it called? Ethical RAC? Something like that, actually. I just don't get the word. Anyway, even laparoscopic surgery is considered patient risk, risk is involved when you operate the patient remotely looking at the monitor. This is very important. This is the operation you are going to have. You have to explain to them very clearly what are the risks involved. Present, uh, sh <clears throat> the shared decision making as a collaborative approach. More people involved. It's a collective decision. Emphasize the significance of understanding and respecting the diverse cultural backgrounds of patients in any part of the world. Advocate tailored treatment. Individual patient preferences, values, and circumstances are taken into account. Highlight the role of patient preferences in decision making. I'm reading through it because the time is only 10 minutes. We'll, uh, I'll have also some points to mention in general. So in uh, Kerala, the challenge is right now, actually, the diabetes is more than 20% of the adult population have diabetes. Diabetes type 2 starts from 15 years of age. I had a boy of 19 with 155 kilos and 19-year-old uh, studying for um, plus two second year. His name I'm not uh, going to, you are not supposed to. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Hari Krishna, many, many Hari Krishnas are there anyway. His name is Hari Krishna. I did only a sleeve gastrectomy. He was taking 60 units of insulin. His diabetes is gone. And control of diet. What is the diet? Plenty of rice, plenty of fat, large meals, five-star hot meals, three-star, four-star hotel meals. Heavy meals at night will give you something like 2,000 calories easily. What is your requirement? Maybe 1,000. 500 calories. My requirement, I would th think, is 1,200 calories per day. I work for about 10 to 12 hours a day. Still, I would think below 1,500. Your dinner at night will give you something like 2,000 calories. Be careful about fat and sugars. If you can get rid of those things, what's the best diet? Vegetables, fruits, water, protein, and exercise. Plenty of water, 70% of our body is water. Plenty of water, that's the best thing you can do. And advice to your patients. 40% hypertension is so rampant and unrecognized, 30 to 40%. 30% alcoholism in Kerala especially. And 20% uh, obesity, uh, obesity, like Europe, 20% or more. And uh, first, State in the country to have more obesity is Punjab, 30%, 35%, like in America. We are reaching the stage of Europe, 20 to 23, 24%.
Every one in five is obese or overweight. This is very important information. F physical inactivity, 20, 25% of people are physically inactive, sit idle. And 20% uh, have unhealthy alcoholism. That's the cause of cirrhosis and uh, more uh, cancer, liver, is increasing, anti-increase, plus hepatitis. There is, uh, you don't have to have a second question, where is the cancer from? Alcohol and hepatitis and uh, cirrhosis. Hepatitis C especially. And uh, the, about the hospitals, there are three types of hospitals, small, medium, large. It is not the case for me, actually. It is like corporate hospital where you have all the specialists, all the specialties, and um, extra facilities, and um, whatever you want, including spa, is available, but that is needed. That's uh, another thing. Why you, the common man is not able to afford the five-star or corporate hospital facilities? You must think of the common man. They make 80% and the poor of the population are more. Then you have limited specialty hospitals where you give care for the primary and secondary care hospitals. Also the tertiary care. Where you give tertiary, you have some specialties which are your drum card. That is something like um, laparoscopic surgery, obesity surgery, urology, orthopedics, like Dr. Ashogan's uh, place was well known for orthopedics, actually. You have a special area where you give tertiary care, the ultimate care. Then single specialty hospital, that come in more numbers in the f in future. Why? Because it's easy to manage, limited space, limited money, limited staff, limited problems, results are very good, develop single specialty, ultimate centers with uh, lesser income. That is going to be the future, I would have thought. And limit the limited specialty, single specialty, I said, limited specialty hospitals, they have problem because the other specialties uh, do not bring in any income, limited income. Limited specialty means limited income because the other specialties are not uh, prospering. You have, can manage break even, maybe, or less, in other specialties. Two, three specialties manage the whole hospital. So they are always under stress. The, the SBA man, the manager, should have been here to listen to this. I, you must have disappeared. And uh, yeah, that is about the hospitals. I don't have small hospital, bigger hospital. You can have probably, you can rate the surgeon a small, medium, and large. He, you, you, see, I'll go to the other area, then I'll come to that. Preventive health care is very poor in our country. That is what you have to think about it. That will definitely sell more, I would have thought, with our emerging new diseases, obesity, hypertension, stroke, and other diseases. Cancer is one of the, obesity is one of the causes of uh, increasing, uh, Dr. Sadala, good evening, good morning. And um, one of the major causes of uh, cancer, obesity, something like 30%. So beware of obesity, cut down your fat and sugar. The cancer cells want only sugar and uh, neighboring sugar that will take away and uh, fat, be careful. And um, do we really need luxury hospitals? This is the disclaimer, not pointing to anybody, not Kim's or Astra, anybody. Just uh, my thoughts, actually. This is a common man's thought. Do we really need luxury hospitals? Luxury means take that luxury on one side and treatment part on, on the other side. Treatment must be perfect in, uh, wherever you do it, whether it is in a small hospital, a medium hospital, 
ఆ కార్పొరేట్ హాస్పిటల్ లిమిటెడ్ స్పెషాలిటీ ఆర్ ఇన్ సింగిల్ స్పెషాలిటీ సింగిల్ స్పెషాలిటీ డెఫినెట్లీ యూ కెన్ అచీవ్ ది బెస్ట్ రిజల్ట్ బికాస్ దే ఆర్ ఏమింగ్ అట్ ఓన్లీ ఓన్ స్పెషాలిటీ అండ్ వై ఐ ఆస్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ లక్షరీ హాస్పిటల్స్ టేక్ పా టేక్ అవే ది లక్షరీ పార్ట్ యూ నో వాట్ ఈస్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ లక్షరీ ఫెసిలిటీస్ దెన్ ది ట్రీట్మెంట్ అండ్ సర్జరీ and treatment part of the surgery or medicine once you find that is done in an accredited hospital it should be the same the luxury part take it away that's the only way common man can afford going to a tertiary care hospital a corporate hospital the insurance companies uh, take advantage they play a double role they have a two tier system it is not the luxury patient uh, needs minimal luxury when you go for treatment but not the spa and other luxuries and music i i you operate oil i have music oil operating people used to ask me you how can you have music oil operating my uh, humble answer was this that fine tunes my fingers actually this is very important if you have a melodious music that will fine tune the surgery it is not luxury that patient needs but uh, the right treatment there must be a system to evaluate the quality and competency of physicians and surgeons and the treatment bills must be fixed without prejudice treatment part this will help probably people like me the middle class or the low middle class Uh, are the poor to go to a tertiary care center a corporate hospital that's my humble feeling and then apart from this i have few other points if, I, if you have time that is um, see medical service medical profession you are bound and duty your bound and duty is uh, one is kriya the other thing is karma kriya is what you do something for earning your livelihood karma is something without any expectation that is that is bound and kriya and karma goes together in medical profession that's the only profession this is this uh, is the dictum and how you make yourself a successful person your success depends on two things long term success embrace medical ethics your honesty hard work will eventually de- lead you to success your destiny are you in the right path we have uh, several medical schools without uh, adequate uh, teachers trained teachers teachers with uh, new technologies like laparoscopy robotic and they don't get to know anything about one of the problem we are facing today is that in the healthcare set- sector an mbbs doctor junior doctor after only a house job is posted to a casualty in a tertiary a secondary a primary care center how are we manage in a developed country we have to take examples of developed country in england for example if you have to become a general practitioner is a general practitioner you have to pass a qualifying exam like you have mrcp in medicine like you have mrcs in surgery they have to qualify an exam called mrcgp that is a post graduate examination in uh, general practice this is very important even if you have mrcp or mrcs still you have to do this that is for three years then only they must be posted to the emergency services and the health services in a primary health center this is very important to save lives of uh, innocent people <laughs>